Law for Sarah Simpson takes a closer look. I'm just a country boy from Hope, Minnesota. Jake Larson grew up during the Depression and survived World War II. Through it all, the 101-year-old says he's been blessed every step of the way. I've just been the luckiest man in the world. So much so, he published a book under that very title. The book is just uh, cr crazy. People just love it. And it's transferred now into f so the people in France can enjoy this too. Larson has also become a viral sensation, connecting with younger generations on social media apps like TikTok and YouTube. Story time with Papa Jake. It started during the pandemic when his granddaughter, Michaela, posted a TikTok of Papa Jake. She says, Papa, I put you on TikTok, on my TikTok. What the hell is TikTok, I says. Larson says he quickly learned what it means to go viral. She says, well, it, 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 it took me 10 months to get 10,000 viewers. You got that in a week. Now he has more than 800,000 followers and 9 million likes on TikTok. Papa Jake here. And I got some news for you guys. It's just amazing. I often wonder, what am I doing here? But, but I, I, I've got so many things to do. Like meeting two presidents, several celebrities, and professional athletes. My man here is a World War II survivor. He's a veteran. But what Larson cares about the most? Honoring fallen veterans. I honor all those guys that gave their life so that I could make it true. Each post comes with a new story, many having to do with his time serving in the war. I joined the National Guard with, with my cousin Chick. In 1938, we were 15 years old. Yes, you're saying. Yeah, I know, we, we, we should be 18, but we lied a little bit. Oh, only three years. Larson chronicles surviving D-Day and the Battle of the Bulge. I, I am the only living one of all the people I've, I was in the service with. The 135th Infantry Regiment, the, their motto is, to the last man. And when I saw that, when I was 15 years old, I said, man, that, that's quite a statement, never realizing that I would live to be the last man. Larson ends every harrowing story with positivity and gratitude. How come I'm kept alive? Somebody up there likes what I do. Larson says by good fortune, he returned home safely to start a family that still supports him to this day. They're the ones that have kept me going. My grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. I've got a grandson who is a grandfather already. Larson's wife passed away more than 30 years ago. Since then, he endured a stroke and heart attack. But he calls these medical miracles because he's never felt better as he nears his 102nd birthday. I'm, I'm sitting here and telling you, I, I, I can do things like this here without an acre of pain. Papa Jake says he is eternally grateful for all his new friends on social media. Papa Jake just loves you guys. It's been one heck of a ride and you guys all make it so much more interesting. And as the world changes around him, one thing remains constant for Papa Jake, his belief in luck and resilience. Talk about a lucky, lucky man. There is a God is my favorite saying. There is a God. I, I, I'm living proof. And he'll continue sharing this message with the world one story at a time. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting Cron for News.